Uptown has become the go-to word for lazy rebrandings, and Uptown Christianburg in Virginia is no exception. Now, it's a fairly decent mall, but come on, it's a mall. Why are you so afraid of the word mall? I'll try and save that rant for another day. But for now, let's go tour the Uptown Christianburg, and from here on out, I'm going to call it by its old name, the New River Valley Mall. This was a Crown American original? Huh, so it is. Crown American would officially open the New River Valley Mall in March 9, 1988 with a humble 26 stores. The anchors would come out as J.C. Penney, Hesses, and Leggett, whom would open at the end of the month. The mall even boasted a movie theater. Grand opening ceremonies were hosted for the day and the rest of the week with the mall heralded as the start of something big. And there were many plans thrown around, with the mall being envisioned as a place for people to not just shop, but to see their friends and neighbors, to have dinner, and be entertained. What a novel concept. The mall's second phase would bring in a corridor that would go to the new Sears store, which opened in August that year. And while it started strongly, the mall even inspiring growth around it and cementing the area as the main retail corridor, there was already trouble as Crown American was reportedly struggling and occupancy numbers for the mall just weren't great, being reported as low as 75% throughout much of the 90s. Additionally, in 1993, Hesses would vacate in May, but this would be mitigated by Peebles opening in their place. With the New River Valley Mall still being stagnant by the early 2000s, Pennsylvania Real Estate Investment Trust, or PREIT, would buy out the vast majority of Crown American's portfolio, including the New River Valley Mall. Priot recognized that this was not sustainable, and they needed to go to work in making this mall viable. First order of business was to renovate the mall, ultimately bringing it to the look that we have today. And I gotta say, they didn't do too bad. More on that later if we have time. When Peebles fled the mall, Dick's Sporting Goods would be signed on to fill the void, and this would result in the old Hess's building getting completely demolished, as well as a small portion of the mall itself, before Dick's built their store. And as the movie theater on site closed, Priot would ultimately cannibalize that place to make way for a small food court and a satellite campus for the New River Community College. Now. I don't remember seeing any food court in this mall, however, and part of me wonders if that was done away in recent years. As for the movie theater, it is worth mentioning that a new one would be built as an out parcel, right near Dick's Sporting Goods. The 2010s were not really kind to this mall, as Sears would close its doors in 2014. But Priot was able to address this, and they attracted Kohl's to fill in the space in 2015. In fact, we saw Kohl's earlier. But a year later, a new company would purchase the mall. This company was Farallon Capital Management, and they would bring in CBON Associates to handle management. During their time, J.C. Penney would close their doors in 2017, and the space was cannibalized and subletted to make way for Home Goods, Kirkland's, and Ulta Beauty. See if you can spot where a secondary mall entrance to J.C. Penney used to be.
Planet Fitness would move into the mall in 2018, filling up vacant space near Kohl's. But towards the end of 2019, Farallon decided it was time to go and put the mall up for sale, and Rockstep Capital would buy the mall for $21.6 million. And sometime during the following year, the new River Valley Mall would be renamed into Uptown Christianburg. Today, the new River Valley Mall is still holding out, but the future seems unclear. When I arrived in 2021, I immediately noticed a vacancy problem throughout the mall. It still has some decent stores, but it's not exactly healthy. It isn't all bad news, however, as it seems to have stabilized for now. Many of the businesses pictured here are still listed as open today, and the mixed-use aspect has brought about a children's museum. Food options, however, are limited with only a coffee kiosk, snack bar, and a small business known as Loaded Baked Potatoes. It'll be interesting to see how things go for the small, but it could be much worse. I actually do kind of like the way this mall looks, and the center court is a highlight, complete with plenty of seating, a shade of green up top, and some wood and stonework. Feels kind of like a lodge. However, I do have to wonder about the mall's future. It's holding up for now, but that could very well change. Three years from now, would we be looking at the same mall, a new era? An empty mall on the verge of closure, or even a redevelopment plan into something else entirely? We will have to wait and see, but take your guesses. I wouldn't be surprised if it just remains like this for quite a few years. Until next time, Christian Berg, this is Doomy Grunt wishing you and the New River Valley Mall farewell and good luck in this mad, mad, mad world. Uptown is gonna funk you up.